Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I want to thank you, uh, Chairman Pallone, Chairman Emeritus Dingo, uh, and all the leadership of the committee for your uh, outstanding endeavors in undertaking this challenging task to reform our country's health care system. Providing affordable health care service to the American people is one of our moral obligations. As the world's richest nation, it is incomprehensible as to why we still have 46 million uninsured citizens, with 8.6 million of those being children. Many communities are denied quality health care, and the current economic crisis is making it even more difficult for people to meet their basic health needs. We must not let them down. I have authored several provisions in this bill addressing disparities in medical treatments and outcomes, affordable medications under Medicaid 340B, and trauma center funding. And I will be offering several amendments that seek to strengthen the bill even further. Some of these amendments, among others, include provisions that will reduce health care personnel shortages, expand <clears throat> mental health services to specific needs of at-risk youth, protect children who fall between the cracks of the new uh, reformed health care system, and ensure basic quality care for Americans who are incarcerated in our nation's jails and prisons. I will also offer an amendment that, that accelerates the availability of generic drugs in the marketplace. This will allow the federal government and consumers to purchase more affordable generic medications sooner than currently available. Further, I would like to continue to work with you, Mr. Chairman, during this process to address the thousands of patients who will inevitably be without coverage in a post-reform world. Uh, Mr. Chairman, the President promised we can. Uh, this committee can declare we have. We have solved the health care problem that the American people face. Thank you, and I yield back the balance of my time.